Hello friends, this is Frank from Germany and after the 6th of December I can say it's Christmas time. I had a lot of work the last days and uh, to find the perfect solution for our solar dispenser and it was necessary to change my mind. I um, use a complete new system but don't worry it's a solution for everyone uh, it's not so expensive uh, the first result is um, not with soda paste it's with flux i have some flux here ah yes flux it's a kind of soda paste but uh, normally um yes a, a, a kind of gel and um it's good for soda to uh, yeah, make it perfect to solar. Okay, um, I want first of all explain um, what a kind of uh, trouble work I had. Then I show you the result, and then I show you my solution. And I hope you like it. And don't speak about it. Do it. So here are my terrible results. You see the drops was uh, a terrible quality. Mostly the funny thing is um, I press more at the start uh, at, at the end and uh, normally um, the, the paste or the syringe has a little bit of stirrus and um, the, the paste only flowing but I never get uh, the right diameter every time and you see also here you see a little German bakery yes <laughs> and um, <clears throat> yes I was very upset it, uh, it doesn't work and uh, I never know what can I change here you see also the result mostly the, the drops have the same diameter I don't know why because I press on the first line only 9.5 millimeter and on the last line one millimeter and this makes me crazy yes <clears throat> you see also I test a lot of parameters more pressure make a better break and so on and then I realized um, I read a lot uh, about this topic and um, the funny thing is the solar paste inside the syringe has also a little bit air that's normal for solar paste in physics you can't compress a fluid but a fluid with a little bit air inside you can press and my solution was to find um, another system they can make perfect drops for me here you see also the bad design and now i want to present the auger pump i hope i can explain this a little bit you see here the normal uh, schematics from an auger pump uh, on the top you see uh, the stepper motor on the side the syringe with fluid and the auger screw you can also use a normal screw and the funny thing is on the at the end of this auger screw you have a very small area you can compress this fluid and this is perfect okay then i call a german firm and uh, say maybe you can help me this is uh, the pro project photo from this uh, to find this uh, perfect auger pump for me and the very nice girl said to me yes why not uh, we can uh, give you uh, uh, our industrial solar dispenser for only 1500 euros or more I say no unbelievable this is so expensive and she was very nice she say no we work a lot with hob hobbyists here in Europe and maybe you uh, want our replacement thing for this very expensive auger pump I say yes why not um, how much is it? And she, she say, yeah, maybe 25 euros plus five euros uh, delivery. I say, very nice idea. Let's go. And this is the result. He make perfect drops. You see um, the aura pump system uh, on my holder. Uh, I use a little uh, hold, uh, wood piece 
uh, to make uh, the access for this auger pump and now you see uh, we have perfect little drops this is a cannula with 9.26 millimeters and in every line I test uh, more pressure and found the perfect parameter is press the same as the diameter and uh, the cannula on the high is uh, the half of diameter. Now here is a photo from this result. The first line you see very small drops. I only pressure 9.1 millimeter. And the second row you see uh, 9.2 millimeters and so on. I think the best results is 9.2 millimeters. Here I want to explain the new system. You see the syringe. This is the auger pump system, this little plastic piece. Um, I make a new holder for this. Then uh, the pressure pipe, they pressure the fluid a little bit in this auger pump and the rotation axis to make uh, some drops. You only rotate on this uh, axis and the drops coming and they are very precise. Now I want to show you uh, the header from the downside. Also you see the auger pump system and uh, you see a little bit better the holder for the cannula. The cool thing is everything is uh, the lure lock system. Yes, it's not necessary to build something or so. It's only necessary to hold a little bit the system on the holder and yes it works very nice and uh, I hope you like it. So now you can see um, yeah, a normal test uh, for this auger pump. Um, <clears throat> first of all I have a calibration g-code. He make only in the first row uh, uh, 9.1 millimeter press and the second row 9.2 millimeters and so on. You see this on a monitor. It's a kind of um, yeah, chess. And then he, the system rotate only 9.1 millimeter. You see this very cool on the coupler uh, between the stepper and the piece of wood. And uh, this makes very precise drops. I hope I explained this uh, correct. Um, the other thing is also um, I rewrote a little bit the macro to uh, make perfect drops and um, Yes, we see forward, but this was my normal tests uh, every time and I was so happy and it's awesome. Uh, we find a solution uh, to make perfect drops now. Yes, the next thing is the pick and place uh, header. This I think needs more time and uh, I think a little bit about it and I think uh, we find a good solution. Now you see here my basement and, and my workplace. This is chili pepper the second laptop but I want to explain a little bit the system what I need because uh, I think some people are a little bit confused about this air pipe. The air pipe go to my first of all you see the second Arduino. The second Arduino is for only for the solar dispenser to rotate this um, x-axis. Here you see the first main controller in garble. Um, a lot of wires and here you see the my new HF Chinese spindle. I'm very uh, satisfied with this thing. And now here's the air pipe 
to connect to the blue pipe and just go to my pump and uh, this pump uh, I bosses use it and this can make a lot of pressure yes and this is my solution to uh, uh, make the pressure a little bit less it's also only necessary to push this um, only for one two seconds and the pressure is enough so last but not least you see the result i hope you like this video session and see you next time bye